I, mean, I was gonna say, well, we have to wrap it up about Yoshi talk. No, 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 no. I'm about to analyze this. Yoshi. Keep talking about Yoshi. I okay. need this. <laughs> so another like, Yoshi versus character. Here we go. Yeah. Um, an implicit buff. Like they didn't directly buff Yoshi this way, but he got kind of um indirectly buffed by the uh, mechanic changes, how the air dodge. Um, Yoshi was always pretty good at juggling, but now he's even better at juggling characters. Oh, it's so because scary. If you want to Did you directional air dodge early? Yoshi's like, ha. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> it's like, I ah, mean, I hate I hate getting juggled by Yoshi because it just bleeds it so much. And even the offstage stuff, like, you don't want to burn that double jump against Yoshi. like, Or uh, like the air dodge offstage against Yoshi. It's just like, oh, man, this, this yeah. is going to be hell. Your board is, yeah. But uh, just keeping it very competitive against yeah, uh, Prom, who I definitely think is not a great match for Yoshi. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but like, it feels like it's got kind of the recipe for all the it's, things that Yoshi doesn't tough. like. It's definitely tough. Um, I think the best way to play this is to out the like, be more aggressive than Prom. Because uh, if you're keeping up the aggression and being in his face, he's not going to be in yours. That was a really good uh, attack cancel. Jab, attack air. Who is definitely going Krom for that? He only plays Roy, but that, that's such a powerful option on this character. Yeah, Krom, I think, is better in this matchup. Um, obviously, he's space with the whole strength of the sword. Yeah, yeah like, you definitely want to outspace Yoshi. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah you're exactly what you're saying, like how Yoshi should play the matchup, but Remedy is going in right now. Yeah, you um, should either be going all in or all out. Like, <laughs> you, there's no in between. You should be either camping like crazy or just like, this fight. Right. Because uh, if you're trying to play the in-between, like, spacing game, you have a sword. So yeah, swords just do it better. You're just going to get swatted away. Like, I definitely think you can, like, mix it up mid-match. Like, if, uh, once they start reading on the, like, progressive options, then you can just to, like, hit buttons. And, like, tap. I didn't press anything. And now he's my backer. But Kuma taking that out and uh, still on. Super doable for me. I'm really impressed with this Yoshi play so far. Uh, yeah, kind of a wild three FC. But uh, that does a lot of damage. So get out of here. Yeah, Kuma's definitely a fiend for like momentum and stuff like that. So I definitely wasn't converting off of it. Like there's nothing to hit his shield. But like, I mean, if it hit, there's a lot of damage. And Kuma looks like stuff. Yeah, and he, what, he didn't get super hard. Yeah. yeah. Um, Kuma kind of running away with his lead. Uh, he was at 78%. Yeah, yeah now offstage. Let's go. Let's see how we go. I think he touched the ground. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, he's got, he's got oh, oh no, you're right. He did. And that killed. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Wow. That is, I feel like that killed a little early. Maybe with rage, I guess. Oh yeah. I, I've noticed that that move doesn't kill quite as early. Oh, yeah. That really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely does. I was gonna say there's good patience from Remedy, not just like once that one four tail hit the shield to roll back. You're like, no, I'm not even gonna play next to you right now. Uh, but then a little bit later, just another four tail comes out randomly. And just Pops him. Not randomly, precise. Kuma's a uh, Kuma's oh, yeah, good player. Definitely calculated. It's not, he's not just throwing out f for the sake of it. Like, yeah. A lot of Yoshis tend to recover above the ledge rather than grabbing it. Yeah, we saw that near the end where he uh, went high for that. We lost that. So you're saying so he should go low? He should, yeah, he should try to grab the ledge more. Just double jumping onto stage. Right. Oh, because uh, I, I don't feel like Krom can do a ton if you recover low as Yoshi. You got no, the arm, you got the projectile, yeah, air yeah. dodge, of course. Yeah, it, you're going to get ledge trapped, maybe, but you have a chance to like mix it up and get back rather than just landing in front of you. Yeah, that's fair. So, right now we would go in Town City. A little bit more space here. Um, we'll see how that works out, because I think a lot of the advantages actually just uh, in your face combat between them. Um, I like this pick, because um, you have. Prom is so oppressive, it's nice to have a chance to run away. <laughs> like a breather? Yeah, just take a breather and like, Jesus Christ. Recovers high, like you're saying, got hit by it. Yeah, so it looks like around like 75-ish percent when went forward to a with the Adam Armor. They buffed his armor in this game, by the way. Oh, uh, that's really good to know. They changed it back to melee. It's called subtractive armor. So, I know. I used to, I used yeah. to use <laughs> me, uh, melee Yoshi, but I don't even remember that. So yeah. basically, in Smash 4, like, there, there's, it's knockback based. So if a move does enough knockback, it'll knock you out of the armor. That's the that hazard. It's always been like that. Um, but oh, oh my God! Yeah, oh, he's going in. Yeah, he um, was super aggressive when he poses some <laughs> advantage. He's just gonna go. No in. jump still. Okay. Still on the. Okay. Um, in Smash Four, 
Uh, if you got hit, you would take the full knockback from the move that hit you out of the armor. In this game, it just gives you the difference between the threshold and whatever knockback was given. Oh, that's so good. Yeah. So you'll t you, like you could get hit by a really strong move. But yeah, like that. <laughs> but for instance, if he had armored through that full smash, he'll take some knockback, but not all of it. That's a that's a really cool reversion. I like that. Uh, because it felt like the arm was only relevant in low percents, and then, like, still having some use at high percents is a, yes. is a nice quality of life change. Uh, nice. Yeah, and, and in that uh, 60 seconds, I was trying to explain that we're already on last. We're on the last <laughs> time. We should run the Yeah, I think uh, Kuma turned the aggressive switch on, and uh, Remedy hasn't been able to find a counterplay for it. Uh, what was working so well game one isn't quite fine. Uh, when you purchase this game, yeah. Kuma takes it with a three stock victory. Yeah, very decisive. I think. Kuma definitely adapted to Remedy's aggressive playstyle. Yeah. Uh, game one, Remedy came out swinging really hard. I don't think Kuma was really ready.